Good day, favorites. Welcome back to another episode of your favorite to talk. Continuation from where we stop. In our previous class, we discussed about what work done. Today, we are going to throw more light on energy. Energy. Energy is defined as the ability or capacity to do work. Energy has the same unit with what work, work done, which is what? Joules. And then we have various forms of energy. We have the mechanical energy, the heat energy, the light energy, solar energy, chemical energy, atomic energy, and so on and so on. Also, there are sources of energy. We also have the, we have the renewable source and non-renewable source. The renewable source of energy is an energy that can never be exhausted. You cannot exhaust it. They replenish themselves by themselves. That's how we call it the renewable uh, source of what? energy. For example, solar. Hydro energy, solar energy, hydro energy, wind energy, ocean tides, or what? Wait, these are energy that replenish themselves by themselves. Solar energy, energy got it from sunlight. And also waves. That is uh, waves, ocean waves. These are they are they are renewable. They can never be what? Exhausted. That is why you cannot calm the ocean or stabilize the ocean because you will always have what? Constant production of what? Waves. So that's why we call it renewable what? energy. They renew themselves. Then also we have non-renewable what? Energy. Non-renewable energy. Um, these are energy that can be what? Exhausted. For example, petrol. Once you exhaust petrol, that's the end of it. Petrol, we have the coal. Um, we have petrol, we have the coal. Even food, energy got it from food. Yeah, is what non renewable can be what? Exhausted. And also, one thing we need to know that energy can be converted from one form to another using what various devices. Can be converted from one form to another using what various what? devices. For example, with the use of a generator, we can convert mechanical energy to electrical energy. Uh -huh. With the use of a battery or the cell, we can convert what chemical energy to electrical what energy. You can see the conversion of what energy from one form to another with the use of what a device. That brings us to the law of conservation of energy. Yeah, it is a law. And the law states that in a closed or isolated system, the total, the total energy is what? Constant. Total energy is what? Constant. Energy can be transferred from one form to another, but the total energy remains constant in a closed or isolated system. Or we can, stay, we can also say that the law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed, but can be transformed from one form to another. It's also correct. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Now, let's throw more light on what? Mechanical energy. One of the various forms of what? Energy. Mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is classified into two types. We have the what? the potential energy and the kinetic energy. Potential energy under mechanical energy, under mechanical energy, we have the what? The potential energy and the what? The kinetic energy. Now, potential energy. Potential energy, we are talking about the what? Energy possessed by body by virtue of its position. That is for what? Potential energy. Energy possessed by body by virtue of its what? Position. And we have various types of what? Potential energy. We have the gravitational potential energy. We have the elastic potential energy. We have the what? Electrical potential energy. We have the magnetic potential energy. We also have the chemical potential what? Energy. We are going to take them one after the other. So therefore, under potential energy, under potential energy, we have the gravitational potential energy. 
gravitational potential, energy. We have the gravitational potential energy. Okay, let me put it this way. Okay, let me just put it right here. We have the gravitational potential energy. Also, we have the elastic potential what? energy. Now, gravitational potential energy. Gravitational potential energy. Talking about gravitational potential energy, we are talking about energy possessed by body by virtue of his words. Height. Or we say energy possessed by a body in the earth in the gravitational world field. By virtue of his words, height. That's for what gravitational potential words, energy. Energy possessed by a body by virtue of his word, height. Above the ground level. So therefore, he takes the word the formula M G what H. And elastic potential energy, elastic potential energy, we are talking about what energy stored in an elastic material. I'm going to explain it again. And the formula for elastic potential energy is one, two, F, E, or, one over two, K, E, what, square. So this is for what? Elastic potential energy. That is one over two F, E or 1 over 2 K E what? Square. The F stands for force. E stands for extension. Or you take this formula. K stands for what? The constant. Constant of proportionality of the word elastic material. And E takes what? Extension of the material. So these are the formulas we need to know under what? Potential energy. Gravitational potential energy and what? Elastic what? Potential what? Energy. And please don't forget the meaning of energy. What is the meaning of energy? The ability or capacity to do work. Now, if we really throw a light on gravitational potential energy, there's energy possessed by body, by virtue of its what? Height above the ground. For example, now, this, this is a body. Oh, what is wrong with this thing? Okay, this is a body. It has a what? It has a height above the ground level. It possesses what? Energy. And the kind of energy it possesses is what? Mechanical energy. Under potential what? Energy. Gravitational potential energy. It has an energy. Because he has the ability to do work. That's energy. Because if I let go of this word, body, you go down. There's a word, force, and it creates a word, a distance. That is what work done. Work done is what force times what distance. The force is the weight, and the distance is the word, the height. So it has the ability, by virtue of its position above the ground level, it has the ability to do work. But if this body is, a, is on the ground, there is no what? Energy. Must first of all attain a word height. That's why we call it gravitational potential energy. This is the word the force, and this is the word the height. This is what weight, and this is the word height. The ability to do work. And this other one, elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy. We are talking about energy stored in an elastic what material. Elastic potential energy. For example, something like this. This is an elastic material. Now, if I extend this material a little bit, it has what elastic potential energy. Because if I let go, there is what force and compression or extension. Because if I hate force, there is greater what extension. So when there is force, extension or compression, it has the ability to do work. Because there is force, there is what extension also. So this is the formula. 1 over 2 Fe or 1 over 2 Ke what? Square. F stands for force, E stands for the extension, or K stands for the constant of proportionality of the material, of the elastic material. That is to regain its what? Elasticity. Then E stands for what? Extension. Then also we have the 
chemical potential energy that is energy possessed in what? Foil. Energy possessed energy that is energy stored in foil. Then we have magnetic potential energy that is energy possessed by a magnet at rest. Then electrical potential energy, energy possessed by electrical charges at what? Rest. All right, so let's go towards kinetic energy. Kinetic energy. For kinetic energy, you are talking about energy possessed by body by virtue of its word motion. That means the body is in what? Motion. Since the body is in motion, it has what? Velocity. And the formula is 1 all over 2 mv square. The m stands for mass of the body, while v stands for velocity of the body. Wow. This is the formula for what? Kinetic potential energy. Where is the formula for what? Potential what? Potential what? Energy. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this world episode. I remain your favorite tutor. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Remain blessed. We meet again.